Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. And today it's going to be a competition vlog. because I'm walking through the park, Home Park, Central Park in Plymouth. We race that as of today, it's a Plymouth Leander meet. It's the first weekend of the national qualifying we window. It's a prelim final meet, which is cool. There's only going to be about 45 minutes to an hour between heats and finals. So I've told the guys to be really on it, swim down, do their cats, do their blood flow restriction take the caffeine swap suits and just get ready for the finals. I want to build that process of going faster in finals because it's super important. And uh, yeah, we're going to just start like dialing in. It's our last meet before British Champs. And I really want to execute process exactly like we, what we want to with work towards next month. So next month, it's less like, oh, Sonny, uh, how do I swim this event? And more just like, I know what I'm doing. We've also got some guys at the Essa Intercounties in Coventry. I know Tom swimming. Tom's swimming, Tom's coaching up at the Edinburgh International right now. Simona, some awesome yesterday, 60.100 back. And uh, yeah, it's a nice late start, 12 o'clock, 12.30 warm up, which is beautiful for me. Got a bit of a lion. Our first final of the meet was Isis in the 200 breaststroke. Isis currently trains at Gloucester for the majority of the week and then comes and trains with DDA and myself on Fridays and Saturdays and she put up some very solid breaststroke performances over the weekend. Next up is Fritz in the 200 backstroke, where he goes in lane five in the final against Matt Ward, who is absolutely extraordinary and on fire at the moment. Fritz has a really good start, and actually I'd say even outdoes Matt in both underwater distance and speed. But something we really noticed is how much better Matt is on the turns. And of course he's got a little lead now, but Matt has this extended fast underwater, and Fritz's underwaters get less and less each turn, and his breakouts get sloppier and sloppier. Matt runs away with the victory in 202, but Fritz went his second 2075 of the day to go quicker in the final and go his second and third best swims of all time. Great stuff. We're midway through session two. Cam's at his 100 breast heat. 63-1. What's going on now? What are these? Uh, katsu, so it helps with the recovery. Yeah? Uh, I'm almost up as well for a little bit, I guess. How does it help with Gets recovery? The blood flowing. Shut uh, the veins? I'm not sure the science behind it, but... <laughs> Fritz, what you got there? Maybe. Does that help the recovery? Yeah, it's not. Fritz has done three 200s today. And now what you got left? A 50 back, we hopefully final, and a 100 fly. Next up was Cam in the final of the men's 100 breaststroke. And something that should be noted about this meet was that the heats and finals were swimming in the same session about an hour apart from each other. With swim down possible for the first and second sessions of the day, but not the third session of the day. Cam's PB in this event was set about five weeks prior to this at county championships of a 1027. And that finally broke his long-standing four-year-old PB of 1031. He equaled his old PB in the heat with a 1031. And then, in the final, decided to go out a little more tentative to really work the back end. His back end was actually better than when he swam his PB just weeks before, coming back in 33-4. But he went out a little slower, 29-6, and come in on 103-0 for his second fastest swim of all time. I think a very solid day's work, and I'm really excited to what we can do in, in the next few weeks to see how much he can drop with that beard shaved off and a full taper, which he needs as a big musty lad for the British Championships in Sheffield. Runaway victory, good stuff. Fritz's day one of this competition was very impressive. After a heat and final of the 200 back, he PB'd the 200 freestyle in session two, and then session three, which basically was at 7 p.m. in the evening, he raced a 50 back heat that we've got right here, where he got touched out by Matt Ward. He was 26-2, Matt was 26-0. He then saw a PB in the 100 butterfly before stepping up again in the final of the 50 back stroke, and on his sixth race of the day, going a PB of 26-0, still getting beaten by Matt, who was 25-8. Cracking work for it. Another highlight of day one was Harry going a PB and a sub minute for the first time in the 100 butterfly swim in 59.99. On the first session on Sunday, he PB'd in the 50 butterfly and Lucia made the 50 freestyle final, getting a season best, just missing her personal best of a 27.68.
After a massive six races on Saturday, Fritz thought he was just racing the 100 backstroke on Sunday. After a pretty so-so heat, Fritz had a brilliant final going a new PB of 57-0, just missing sneaking under the 26 and 57 barriers at this meet. Shout out to Matt Ward, who had a brilliant swim to go 55-2. And Fritz gave this his all because he really did think this was going to be his last swim as he wasn't entered in any other races. Let's go, Cam! <laughs> Cam had the 50 breaststroke where he was racing Plymouth Leander brothers Charlie and Ronnie. After an okay heat where he went 28-6, he went into the final fastest seed and ended up getting pipped with a 28-4-5, his second fastest swim of all time, to Charlie's 28-4-4. He had to swim down in this little learner ball. Fritz was done after session two, and then Cam pulled out the 100 free. He took Cam's 100 free. He then made the final, and he's gone 253s. Come fifth in the final from no end. Cam's fuming, he got beaten by 0 0.01. Oh, fuming. Signing out from the meet. Hell yeah. Fritz raced 10 times this weekend. Hell yeah. He's got a lot of PBs. Seb Granada was sort of the weekend though. Angry of the weekend was Cam Williams. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Good job, boys.